Um, thank you. Outdoors bound tonight, the Virginia General Assembly has taken action on two proposals that could have a big impact on wildlife conservation, fishing and hunting. Yeah, George Noliff of the WFXR Outdoors Bound team joins us now with those details. Hey, George. Hey, guys, the two measures deal with a controversial form of fishing and with deer hunting. How are you all doing there, folks? The first of these bills would have to put a stop to commercial menhaden reduction fishing on the Chesapeake Bay for two years. And menhaden are bait fish. They're eaten by practically every game fish that swims in Virginia's portion of the bay and the Atlantic Ocean. Now, Virginia is the only state on the East Coast that allows reduction fishing in estuaries like the Chesapeake. Sport fishing and conservation groups argue that reduction fishing has depleted menhaden stocks in the bay, in the bay and that's led to a decline in sport fish numbers. Now, however, the bill sponsored by Republican Delegate Tim Anderson was tabled in committee without any debate. The two-year ban would have given scientists time to study the impact reduction fishing has on menhaden numbers. While the measure is technically not dead, it's highly unlikely it's going to be revived in this session. Omega protein, which harvests menhaden in the bay, and they reduce them, hence the name reduction fishery, for use in fish oil and fish meal. Well, that company says menhaden are not overfished, and that the game fish decline is due to overfishing of those species by sport fish anglers. On to another piece of leg legislation. This one would have allowed deer hunting year round on private property, but it was also tabled. It was sponsored by Delegate Marie March of Floyd. Now, she has said in published reports that she sponsored the bill because it's a matter of safety, that deer numbers are high in Virginia and causing way too many vehicle accidents. Uh, there was no debate on that bill before it was tabled either. Technically, that one's still alive too, but like the Medhaden bill, chances of it being revived in this legislative session are pretty slim. And George, while we have you here, we do have one more question for you. Coyotes have been in the news a lot. I saw a post on Facebook about it. A story out of Richmond says folks should exercise caution in areas like our region where coyotes are present. What do you know about that? Well, from now until March, it's mating season for coyotes. Because of that, the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources says coyotes may be more visible and males, well, they may become more territorial. So if you have adult dogs, they could be perceived as threats to territory by male coyotes. Uh, smaller pets could be looked at as food because, well, you know, food becomes a little more scarce in the wild in the winter. So keep an eye on your pets as far as threats to people. Uh, most of the time, coyotes are afraid of humans. I mean, they do not want to be around us. But if one does become aggressive, that's a problem. And you need to call Animal Control or VDWR to report it immediately. All right, George, thank you.